Hey guys, Edward here for Winding Road Magazine. Another oddball BMW for you all. This is an E30 with an S50 straight six. All right, so let's pop this bad boy and see what's under it. You'll recognize that out of an E36 M3. We've got a little less weight <laughs> in this guy. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go take it out for a ride and see what happens when you put a very different motor in an E30. <laughs> So this is Emilio. He is the owner of this car, although he did not build it. He wants to make it very I clear. Not. I don't want to take credit for it, no. It so was. who did build this car? Zach Centerbar up in uh, Burlington, Vermont. He runs kind of a very informal shop out of his garage, but he's done swaps like this before and uh, stuff like steering rack swaps, builds, things like that. So he's uh, definitely, it's not a real shop, but take your work up there if you're in the area. There it is. <laughs> Oof, she ain't quiet. Damn. Not, not really. The next project is probably gonna be shift lights, but that's because that's, the gauge clusters were out right now, but I guess all I really need are shift lights. So it's got, I think it's a ECS tuning endurance clutch. I think it's a stage two and a lightweight aluminum flywheel from something, I forget exactly. But no power steering. No power steering. Uh, it's got the Z3 steering rack, which is the one you want. Um, but yeah, no power steering. It's running 225 BF Goodrich Rivals, I want to say. Um, G4, yeah, G-Force Rivals. Yeah, G-Force Rivals. Uh, Square setup. I definitely like that I have a blinking check. Oh, yeah. Check. <laughs> I love yeah. it. All right. Yeah, that's 80s technology. No OBD or anything. Yeah. So. All right. Let me just check that I'm not going to. Am I going to clip here? Yeah. I might. So the drivetrain's out of an E36 M3? Yeah. It's got the engine and trans out of uh, a 95 E36 M3. Um, I think the engine has this point like maybe 109,000 miles and maybe some change yeah um, but I mean when it was swapped Zach did the uh, diff fluid or not the diff, yeah he did the diff fluid the trans fluid like all that stuff so very cool Bite feels like an old Porsche because like I, it, it's it's really stiff right away, yeah. and then you just have to push, and you have like this much room yeah. that all of your braking is happening mm -hmm. here. <laughs> exactly, yeah. They feel a little wooden initially, so yeah. The bite's definitely lacking from like the E92 or three, <laughs> completely different. But hopefully, a set of big brakes. Oh yeah. Change that. So we've got this Condor uh, shift knob, same as Palant's E36 uh, with the turbo. I guess we just have a theme here of... <laughs> yeah. I don't know, the, the reach from the steering wheel to the shift knob is nice. It I is like nice. It's got a UUC short shift too, so it's uh, nice and notchy. But with that taller shift knob, it's not too short anymore. And you're coming from an E92 M3. Yes. How do you feel about this it's versus that? a drastic difference. It's definitely uh, not as fast, of course, but it feels more raw and a lot more fun, so I'm definitely glad I made the switch. This is very cool. I'm, I'm impressed with the speed already. Yeah. That was more than I expected.
the speedometer is not accurate. It's it's about ten miles over. Okay, good. To ten, so it's not entirely accurate, but it works. That is not accurate. these guys no, maybe a winding road first look at this guy <laughs> oh my God. more oh, my. <laughs> Wait, my tires were nice and clean excuse me guys <laughs> corners with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if I was a bit more confident with this car, we could slide corners, maybe. But... Yeah, I mean, it has grip, though. I'm not, like, concerned about it. The yeah. tail was really planted. Yeah. I think I've only gotten it to oversteer once by accident. Um, it's that big corner lift off oversteer, so. Absolutely. But... What's very cool about having a car this light is that you get the benefit of 225s being like overkill. Exactly. Even though there's so much, uh, the brake, you, you don't get any, you don't get very deep into the brakes, yeah. but, but the throttle's right there, so you're able to lean over and find it. Yeah. And this rear end makes it great because you do have to shift a lot. Yeah, it's really fast. So you're very engaged with the car. That's what I missed about the M3, like it was so fast, but at like town speeds, you never have to shift. sunroof. Yeah. That's the one downside of having no climate control or air conditioning. You get a nice foggy machine. Give this guy some room.
a downside of this guy is because it's strict interior, I don't have a cigarette lighter, which means no radar. Which is not a good thing that they probably this much power. But luckily, because of the gearing, you're probably not too concerned about uh, like highway speeds. Like, oh god, no, no. You're I not sit at like 60. That's yeah, exactly. So we started this drive from Porsche Westwood at their Cars and Coffee event here in Massachusetts. It's a rainy day. This is a super cool build. I definitely want to thank Emilio for bringing the car and letting us take a look at it. Uh, Anytime. Anyone who likes cars will love one of these. This is fantastic. S50s belong in E30s. Yeah, they do. For my work, <laughs> e-brake like that's how you know a car is complete when yes. the e-brake secures the car. <laughs> this yeah. is a build. Sweet. Solid. This thing is awesome. so cool, man.